Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's carry on with all. I don't want to throw that. Uh, I've been playing, you know, Doom, so I keep hitting the left trigger to run. Um, yeah, oh, <laughs> it just led me in a circle. This is the direction you must take. Follow the dotted line. So I need to go through there, but it tells me to walk around here. La 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 sodding pointlessness. Oh dear. Oh, hello. You're not fooling me. Yeah, I'll just take your head clean off. Why not? And that green screen is basically um, the poison falling off of my... Oh, what the fuck? Hi, Ted B. Oh, what what oh, happened here God. then? My wife. My, my dad. Oh, fuck, my own fucking brother! Jesus Christ! What else could I do? Let him kill me? Why are you looking at me like that? What the fuck do you want from me? I yeah, yeah, you had no choice. You didn't have a choice, so that's very commendable for you, sir. Hey, hey, buddy, buddy. Don't feel so bad, alright? I'm gonna do the same thing to everybody else's family. Don't worry about it. Let's have a look. Um... I don't know who that one could have been. This one could be his brother, maybe? Uh, yeah, that one's his brother, probably. This one's probably his dad. And, uh, I don't know. Is this his wife? No, there's a lot more people here than uh, he's actually killed, I think. But, meh. No female zombies up here, so his wife must have been completely eaten. Another good thing about Sam B is when you level up enough, you can do this. Your skill actually allows you to run through doors. This is the tackle skill. It's the most useful skill in the entire game, I think. Which is what makes Sam B the best person, I reckon. The fact that he can actually run at shit and uh, knock it over. Oh yeah, look, this is locked as well. Normally you'd have to break it down by getting that little bit into the red thing. But no. If you're Sam B, you just run at it. But of course, there are glitches in this game, and this is one of them. He doesn't break down every damn door. So we'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. And look, that's where we need to go. Key card there. Sure, why not? Get this freak oh my off God, me! Where did you come from? This room is locked. How did you get in here? You don't look like the lifeguard. Because you're not Cinemoy. God damn it. He was just He's just chilling out in this room in his pool of blood underneath there. Yeah, wrong, eh? And there's a lot of searchable places to do in this game. We are not going to search much, much at all even. We might take money like this if it's just lying around, but for the most part, we're not going to take too much. And now we just need to get back to Cinemoy in the beach house. And I don't want to be on this side of it. Can't jump. Oh, by the way, that blue bar is uh, your stamina. When your stamina goes out, this is what happens to you. We're going to purposely wear out stamina. Just by running. Da, 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 da. Tackle you! Jump! And look, I've run out of stamina, I can't run anymore, I can't swing my weapon. Not enough to... Uh, this is how you swing when you've got stamina, and this is how it goes when you haven't. Yeah, it's basically like you're drunk, and you can get drunk in this game. Um, listen to this. Looking like a motherfucking postcard! It does look like a motherfucking postcard, Sandy. It does. Oh god! Yeah, full damage in this game is uh, pretty strange. I mean, look how much. You know, just jumping down that flight of stairs takes off almost all your health. <laughs> Another thing about Sandy is uh, he's got a skill that regenerates health. Don't know so how it is. You, you did it? Alright. Thanks to you. I'm gonna skip all these, basically. Now I'm Okay, you ready to go out there again? Honey, we will. Yeah. If you ever want to take the beach, it's the shortest way. Just pause the video, just so you know what's going on. But uh, for time purposes, I'm just going to skip them all. If you want to read them, feel free to pause it. You know, come back to it. But I'm going to skip through them because I don't want to waste a lot of video time just doing that. Another glitch is when you're running with Sam B, you can swing your weapon at the same time. So you. Not only do you tackle them, but you also use the weapon on them. I missed I messed it up that time, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it this time. Nope, I, uh, I'll show it later on. 
And yeah, she wanted to get in here. So you have a look in here. Oh, it's a zombie. <laughs> the kick is the most useful. <laughs> oh dear, excuse me. Most useful attack in this game. Because you can kick zombies to the ground, and then you can just stamp on their heads, or it stops them running at you. Because we're going to see infected pretty soon. And, um, oh, hello, Harris. That's me, Harris. Yeah, and the infected are extremely fast, extremely powerful, and arguably the most annoying enemy in this game. Just ask anyone that's played it. They will tell you how much they hate Anybody. the infected. And look, see, kick this zombie, kick it again, and it goes down. And then you can either just slice its head off or whatever you want. I mean, because you're doing this, you can hack and slice. Oh, yeah, 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 Harris, I'll come in. So you can just kick them, and they go down, and then slice, head gone. Easy as. Hey, Harris, my weapon's looking a bit buggered. Can you help me with that? Oh, fuck. 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 Jesus Christ. I am not going if to you hadn't Jesus come along. Christ. Damn you. Die. Y you want to come with me? I'm gathering He's gathering supplies here. There's water in here. He won't find any supplies by the time he gets here. And I'm only waiting for... I'm only looting everything while I wait for him because I can't get in to get the workbench until he gets in here and says, There's a workbench in the back. At least I don't think I can. Oh, I can. There's awesome. a table inside. You can use to but repair. there's usually money. Okay, hurry to take a look. Is that all? 133. Oh, postcards. Not very interesting postcards. None of those... Oh, I've never looked out here before. That was nothing, okay. Um, repair, 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 repair. And we can create stuff, you know? I think I might create a few Molotovs. Oh, I can only create the one. And I'll create a sticky knife bomb or sticky bomb duct tape. I will be picking up as much duct tape and deodorant as I can find. And yeah, there are side quests coming through these things here. So just always be aware of what's around you. They do give out side quests and stuff. Ones that don't actually show up. It's like um, Dead Rising when you get secret survivors come up. Oh, I hear oh, infected. What the fuck? Here they come. Most annoying enemy in the game. But because they're running at you, they're very easy to kill. Very easy to kill. Because their force just uh, takes them straight to death. It's great fun. But of course, you've got to have them running at you first. Once they've caught up with you, they will just beat the shit out of you. And there are a lot more zombies around here later, but for now, there's only a few of them. They don't get many more than this in one place. <laughs> Not in the resort, anyway. Oh, someone's touching my bum. Take that, and that. And, yeah, so we've already got two types of enemies to fight. Oh, you're still alive. Yes, you are. We're about to come across a third type of enemy. <clears throat> as soon as we get up here... Actually, you know what, I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to show you what happens when you use propane tanks. Like you're really showing. If you played Left 4 Dead, you know what's going to happen here. <laughs> God damn! Oh. oh yeah, and you do get guns later on. But they're pretty useless against zombies. You get three types of gun. You get uh, pistols, or magnums, revolvers, shotguns, and assault rifles. But I'm not a big fan of the assault rifle. Uh, not the, the shotgun even. I love the assault rifle, but it's finding a good one really. Okay, ow. There's quite a few enemies in here as you can see. Hey, get away. God damn! That bitch was huge! Damn! That bitch was... Oh, and the zombies do carry weapons. And they hit a lot harder than you do with weapons. And we died. First death of the game. Oh yes. You can see on the left hand screen, I lost $1,894. You lose money because... Otherwise, there has to be a punishment for death. And just so you buggers don't get me again, I'm going to knock you on your ass. And then slice your head off. And electrocute you. Sweet. <clears throat> oh, I just ripped open their guts. Another good thing is, once they're dead, you can just hack off all their limbs. Which is pretty funny. Oh, hacking off their limbs. Can I take off half the leg? No. And yeah. 
can see, I've just completely decimated that woman. Sorry, love. Ah, you were dead anyway, what do you care? Yep, here comes the second enemy of the game, uh, third enemy of the game. First boss of the game, really. And all the bosses do become common enemies, except for the final boss, but that's because it's the final boss of the game. And I thought this was one of the infected when I first saw it, but no! This is a big boy. This is a bloody thug. Another good thing about uh, Molotovs, or well, actually another glitch I should say, is when you set fire to stuff, if it doesn't die, it just um, goes like a smooth, smooth black colour. Go you! You can see on him, his skin's all melted off, but soon, when he stops being on fire, it usually just goes to like a solid black colour skin. Like, there's no definition, should I say. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Okay, it's not done it today for you. Okay. It's actually still got some colour on it, like the blood and whatnot. We do a little dance. Middle and little. Get down tonight. And that's the dude he was eating. Oh yeah, you do have a flashlight. You hit down on the D-pad to open it. Open it, operate it. And there's just a bunch of infected around in here, really. Oh, you're dead. They're hiding everywhere, zombies in here. Except this one. He's like, I want in this room. I don't know why he wants to go in that room so bad. There's uh, only medical supplies in there. And not many at that. Kick, 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 kick. And crush your face. What happens when you mess with the Matico? Meh. Oh, his arm got stuck in the wall. Yeah, see, glitch is galore in this game. My favourite glitch of this game... Yeah, I'll go out here and I'll show you Mayday, it. Mayday. This is Oceanic Flight that, this is the um, shot Zeds to Miles or whatever. Repeat. You throw it, hit up on the D-pad, go to your inventory, drop it, All and look, out. you've got two of them. You now have two shock uh, Zeds to Miles. See? Repeat. And that's how you make so much money in this game. That's a way to make a lot of money in this game, I should say. It's not a very honest way, but it's a way, and it now costs 8000 to repair it. So yeah, it does have its price to pay if you don't um, sort it out. And what's up here? You're going to find out next video. As always, I've been Matt the Geek, and I hope you have been entertained. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.